evening, everyone. My name is Kevin Mears. Um, many of you know me, but for those of you who don't, my I am a demonologist and a paranormal investigator. For, if you're wondering what the heck that means, it means I am one of those people that goes into haunted houses and investigates to determine if there is a spirit there, and if there is, in fact, a spirit there, I'm one of those people who figures out what to do about it. I, work, I have done this for 20 years. I've worked with priests of many faiths. I've, I've worked with exorcists. I was trained by someone many of you may know, the late Lou Gentili. Lou Gentili was a nationally known demonologist and paranormal investigator. Lou did thousands of cases. He hosted a nationally syndicated radio show called The Lou Gentili Show. I also co-hosted them with that for, for many years. We had a, we've always had a goal, Lou and I, which was one, to help people who have a problem with demonic activity in their homes, and the other is to educate people. The Bible says in Hosea 4, 6, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. There, the paranormal is more popular today than it has ever been in our history. And there's a lot of incorrect information out there. You have groups out there that tell people that it's all just ghosts and there's nothing out there that can really hurt you, that you just have to learn to live with it. And that is wrong. There is, there is help out there. There is hope out there. In two, two, three years ago now, in 2015, I started a YouTube channel named in honor of the late Lou Gentile, Paranormal Encyclopedia. When I was on the show with him, he always teased me about being a walking encyclopedia of the paranormal. To honor him, I named my show Paranormal Encyclopedia. In last year, in 2017, I was lucky enough to join Hamilton Radio and get a much nicer studio, as you all can see right now, than just do it wherever I could set up my laptop. And now we have a really cool opportunity. So we do an hour-long show every week, Thursday night, 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, the problem, but there's a problem. See, the thing with radio is you pay for your slot and then you get advertisers to pay you back. And that's how you also make money. The reality of it is because it's internet radio, it's a little harder to find advertisers. We found a few. We've been working with NordVPN and we've been working with um, Audible. Audible. Thank you, Brian. Audible.com. But we, but we have a chance now to go from an hour format to a two-hour format. And we'd like to do this, but financially we can't do it. So we've had to, we've, we're coming to you to ask for help. We're going to be setting up a number of tiers. Um, at the lowest tiers, you can get t-shirts like Brian here is wearing. Um, I'm also going to be putting together a series of videos teaching people how to investigate haunted houses. I'm going to talk about how to recognize if you're dealing with a ghost versus a demon. I'm going to be talking about the history of the paranormal. I'm going to be talking about how to do electronic voice phenomenon and take photographs of spirits. The whole nine yards so are going to be hour-long lessons. I'm going to put them up for sale. At one of the mid-level tiers, you'll get all of those for free. Um, and there's going to be a lot of other fun options. But, but instead of me talking all the time, I do have two great co-hosts for the show, so I'm going to give them each a chance. So, Brian, why don't you talk a little bit about what, you're do what we're doing well, I think uh, I think this show brings a lot of information to a lot of people, and it's it's kind of a unique thing, uh, at least for me to be involved in. I'm very proud to be a part of it. And as an author, I write about the paranormal. I've never actually experienced any of the paranormal myself, so I bring sort of a open-minded skepticism to the show that uh, and a little bit of humor. I like to think, <laughs> but um, but yeah, some of the uh, things that are going to be rewarded at the different levels if you're an advertiser if you're interested in advertising with us or you have a product i write advertising copy that uh, that we use on the show i can write an ad for you uh, my books i will give i will be giving away signed copies of uh, some of my novels at various tiers uh, so if you're interested in in vampire fiction the paranormal that kind of thing that might be something you'd be interested in uh, but that's that's pretty much it for me. I'm just happy to be around. Now, when I first joined up onto the show, it was more or less as a guest. I was somebody that consistently called in, mostly because a lot of the subject matter on the show interested me. I found that it covered a broad spectrum of topics from the sci-fi geeky paranormal to some of the deeper and, at times, somewhat disturbing aspects of history as well as current events when it comes to the paranormal and the nature of the paranormal. I myself being a hypnotist, it's considered to be almost a parapsychology sort of branch of the medical field. However, at the same time, my usage of it is more in the recreational. And 
I've also learned that ever since I've become a co-host, because let's face it, they couldn't get rid of me no matter how much <laughs> they wanted to. Um, I know, it's great. But, you know, I, I found that in many ways the paranormal community is consistently growing. And the only way we can continue to grow is from support of people like you. So contribute, donate, do what you can. You know, Kevin's definitely going to be offering some definite educational material to you. Brian is going to be doing the same in his own way and all the awesome there. And I myself, you want to what? I will gladly instruct some folks on how to trance themselves out and give them some hypnosis as oh, well. Wow. Which is something nice. that, frankly, you do have to delve into some books for. It's easy, but at the same time, you will develop your hypnotic voice. <laughs> and, of course, because, you know, it's always fun if you do actually like, subscribe, and do contribute. You can continue to have me being the anchor or best way the counterweight to kevin in many regards because many of our shows involve a whole lot of debate so the sooner you get us uh whatever it is that you can and the sooner you can show you support the longer we can be on and i guarantee you you will not regret it it will be awesome and you will never say you didn't give i'll also point out real quick brian writes the ads Baron can read them. Baron can read them for you. It's really good. Yes. Listen to any of our last few shows. You can hear the ad at the end of every show. At the end of the last show, the one that's right up now for NordVPN was written by Brian and read by Baron. You can get an idea of what you're going to get if you want to do that. But that's going to do it for this. Thank you all so much for your time. Yeah, and again, good night you. and God bless. Exactly. And avoid lightning rods. <laughs>